Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it with part two of a three part series. Part two for today is the top five rise of 2023. Yes, top five rise of 2023. So go back to Tuesday, uh, that was part one. That was the top five non-allocated bourbons of 2023. And today is top five rise of 2023. And we will close it out on Sunday with the top five allocated whiskeys of 2023 should be interesting all right well, let's go ahead and stick with uh, where we're at tonight top five rise of 2023 so as we all know rise are just very unique so they deserve their own platform it's a little special category hence reason why we're going to dive into the top five rise of 2023 um this should be a fun one uh so you might be wondering judge top five rise of 2023 are you going to go ahead and kick it off with an asterisk of course <laughs> You guys know the way I rock and roll. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with uh, with an asterisk, and then I'll do the countdown five to one. Fair? All right, cool. So, what is my asterisk and why? Oh, man. So, this brand, like many brands, they don't make a single malt. At least I don't think they make single malts. But when they make their bourbon and rise, I've had both. But for me personally, I love, and I mean I love their rise. Their bourbons are good. But their rise are just flat out amazing. So this one was a single barrel, but take away just a single barrel. Their rise in general, their cast strength rise are just honestly flat out amazing. Um, this one almost broke my top five. So being that it was right there, I wanted to include it as an honorable mention, AKA an asterisk in this case. So my asterisk for uh, today's episode, none other than Driftless Glen. Now this happens to be a Driftless Glen joint pick that I did with the Bourbon Van, uh, so Phil and Julie, as well as Bourbon of the Week. We did a combo pick, collaboration pick, if you will. And uh, I mean, this Rye Whiskey, Cash Strength Rye Whiskey, was just flat out amazing. By the way, there are still literally 10 on the dot left, about 10 on the dot left. So if you're interested, check out the link in the bio, or you can just go directly to Share Pour, and you'll, you'll, you'll find this. This bottle is, you wanna talk about some great Rye Whiskey? Wow, it's such a unique and different pour than most traditional rye whiskeys. It almost sips like it has like a, a finish, like some type of a wine, like a Merlot finish or a sherry finish, but it's not. It's just a standard straight cast strength rye whiskey, um, aged seven years and I think in like in 10 months, and it's flat out amazing. So Driftless Glen, my rye whiskey, you are getting the honorable mention. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Judge, let's keep going. What's the number five spot? Oh, boy. So, it's funny. This brand cracked my top five for non-allocated whiskeys. But this is a rye. This brand is just doing way too much. Too much good stuff. <laughs> number five is the Fiddler, the Toasted series. The straight rye whiskey. So, a toasted rye whiskey coming from ASW, the distillery. I think ASW in general is definitely one of the most popular, one of the one of the best, let's call it craft distilleries, up and coming brands of 2024. One that I'm looking to do another barrel pick with myself in 2024, very close, very soon rather. Um, and this whiskey, I mean, a toasted straight rye whiskey that's cast strength. Yes, 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 sign me up for it. This whiskey is flat out amazing. Can't wait to do my own single barrel of it myself for my, for my patron group. All right. That's number five spot. Number four. Wow. This bottle. <laughs> so I got this as a Christmas present from Mrs. Judge. And while I love this brand and most people love their double oak, when I got this present, I almost said to myself, in, actually I did say to myself in my head, oh boy, what did Mrs. Judge do? What did she buy me? I was a little worried that I was going to actually dislike this a lot. Number four. A very unique, a unique blend, if you will. This is Sagamore Spirit. This is a maple cherry, a uh, maple cherry rather, maple cherry cash finish, coming to you and brought to you by the hand selected by the Maryland Collective. So the Maryland Collective group, local group in Maryland, and this bottle I should say was only distributed in the state of Maryland for the most part, right? This bottle um, is essentially was a, it's a six year rye whiskey 
finished in maple syrup barrels, and then a five-year rye whiskey finished in a cherry brandy barrels. They then each stayed in those respective casks, each one of those, the, the, uh, the cherry uh, brandy as well as the maple syrup, each one of those for about 18 months. Then they were blended together. So it's almost like a double barrel, if you will, or two, two, two barrels, two single barrels combined to one. When I first got it, I honestly thought it was gonna be way too sweet. And I'm talking like sweet overload, but that's not the case. They call this one the cherry pancakes. Let's just say Maryland Collective, you did a phenomenal job of making this, this unique blend. Hey, next time you guys and ladies ever uh, do a blend, hit the judge up. I would love to join you because I'm telling you folks, if you get a chance, if you're a local or you know someone in Maryland, see if they can hunt down one of these bottles. It is flat out amazing. Spicy, a little bit of sweet, and overall flat out just unique. Unique, unique, unique. Yes, it is, and amazing. All right, before we get to the uh, three, two, and one spot, a couple favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are some of your favorite rise of 2023. And last but not least, please make sure you all subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get a notification uh, each and every time I release new content. Cool, all right. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Wow. I'm sipping my number one. I can't wait to get there. Explain the reason why it's number one. All right. The number three spot. So this is a brand where I love the brand. And I honestly don't think I've ever had a bad batch of their whiskey. Not me personally. And I've had a lot of barrels and a lot of bottles from this brand. But I swear every year, I just feel like their whiskey just, it, it just continues to get better and better and better. And it's just, it truly is the epitome of a consistent brand that brings great whiskey each and every time, no matter if it's a bourbon, a rye, and so forth. But the number three rye whiskey of 2023 for the bourbon judge. Ah, uh, Michter's Toasted Barrel Strength Rye Whiskey. This bottle, it's just, I don't even know. It's a campfire in a bottle. It's It has those s'mores notes because obviously Michter's are truly just the experts in toasting their barrels and charring their barrels. It has like those creme brulee notes. It has a little bit of spice obviously because it is a rye of course. It's just everything you want in a rye whiskey, no matter if you're a true straight rye whiskey drinker, or even if you're someone who's a bourbon drinker, but you're crossing over to rye. This bottle, it hits home each and every time they release it. And I'm so glad they had another home run in 2023. Wow, we are getting close to number one, but we're still at number two, still at number two. Oh man, this is fun. The number two rye whiskey of 2023. I guarantee you, most people might think that this might be the number one whiskey, and it might be right whiskey for each and every, every one of you out there. For me, it came to the number two spot. These two whiskeys were so close, in my opinion, of being neck and neck uh, for being number two and number one. It was really hard. I tasted them both several times just to make sure. <laughs> hey, it's a tough job. Somebody has to do it, right? Um, but I did. I tasted them both back and forth each and every time. And it was pretty consistent. I, I just really enjoyed one slightly more than the other. And I'm explaining the reason why at the end. But the number two rye whiskey of 2023, you just can't get better, honestly, than the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye whiskey. It comes out every year now recently, right? Um, they're just, it, the whiskey is just such a great experience. And I say the word experience because a Jack Daniels barrel proof rye whiskey is truly an exper experience. It's a rye whiskey, so it's it's um, it's a little bit spicy, a little bit minty, but not a ton of that. You get all those like those traditional like, like banana notes in there. Um, you get like those caramel notes, those leather notes, all combined and it just, it hits you. And it's just so, it's just so damn good. It really is, it's that good. All right, JD Barrel Proof is my number two rye whiskey of 2023. So Judge, what is your number one rye whiskey of 2023 and why all right so my number one whiskey rye whiskey of 2023 mm. Whew. 
I'm sipping it too, by the way. This is my number one rye whiskey because to me, it is the traditional cast strength rye whiskey. It's, it's everything a rye should be, peppery, minty, floral, but it also is a little bit sweet at the same time. It from the nose, to the palate, to the finish. For me personally, I don't think there is a better rye whiskey that I tasted in 2023 compared to this bad boy. And it is just solid from the start to the middle, all the way to the end of the finish. Absolutely amazing. I loved it so much <laughs> that I dropped it. <laughs> but uh, no, all jokes aside, Old Overhope Cast Strength Straight Rye Whiskey, aged 10 years. This whiskey here is just flat out, I mean, special release. I loved it. Um, no, if you, uh, just so everyone knows, I did not finish the bottle that quick. I swear to goodness, I did not. Um, funny story, check back the last episode. I dropped it. There's a small little crack here in the back. So I poured the uh, the rest of the whiskey into a different bottle. But honestly, this old Overholt cast strength rye whiskey is truly flat out and an amazing experience for a rye whiskey. It's one that uh, I often find myself going back to quite often. And can't wait to share it with my buddies on my next whiskey uh, tasting event that we're going to have. So hey, be on the lookout for episode three top five allocated whiskeys of 2023, which will be launching this Sunday. Until then, my friends, peace, cheers, most important, salute. Take care, everyone. See ya.